David here with Fig Boo Don Pens back again with another fountain pen review. Uh, it's fun when pen companies, uh, especially smaller artisans, try something new and different. Uh, innovation can be a process. But in these days of social media, uh, it's enjoyable to watch the progression of a brand in real time. And today I have a new creation from an artisan which brought a smile to my face. Uh, and with Halloween coming right around the corner, I thought this was a good time to share this with you. Uh, it is a new design from Shibui North called the Pocket Fox, and it has a motif called Creepy Little Skulls. Uh, and I have it on uh, three different pens to show you. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of these pens, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about them. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. The woman behind the brand is Ruth Bolton. She is based out of the UK in Newcastle, which is in the northern part of England. She creates her pens on a CNC machine and then kind of finishes them using techniques like uh, arushi and gilding and anodizing and engraving or combinations of those techniques. Uh, Ruth lived in Japan for a while where she studied ceramics and arushi, so a lot of her design inspiration comes from that experience. Now, I mentioned that I have three pens here to show you, uh, two of which were provided for review, and one, for reasons you will see here in a bit, I purchased myself. Uh, and one of these pens will be given away, so stay tuned to learn how you can make one of these pens your very own. Uh, the pens arrived in these felt pouches, uh, and this is what we have. Now, this one here is one of her Kitsune models, Kitsune, excuse me, uh, which I've previously reviewed. Um, it's made from copper and has a teal Cerakote finish. Uh, well, Ruth called it teal. I, I think it looks more like robin's egg blue, but both are nice colors. But I love how after the engraving, the underlying copper really makes the skull images really pop. Um, I like that the skulls aren't really the same size, uh, and I also like how they're a bit cartoonish, which I personally care for, rather than if it had a, like a more realistic skull motif. Uh, and the skulls are even on the nib. Now this model has a generous ink window where you get a good look at the converter as well. Okay, I just wanted to show you that model because I thought it looked so cool. But the one I'm going to focus on today is one of the newer models called the Pocket Fox. And this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a small pocket pen. It is made from 304 stainless steel. Uh, it, there is a purple PVD nano titanium coating, which is both hard wearing and durable. And as you can see, it has the creepy little skulls motif. The engraving with this pattern is actually the exposed metal part of the design. Uh, if you wondered how this is accomplished, here's a short video from Ruth's Instagram feed. I recommend following her if you want to see some very cool things. You can see here that the laser is doing its work while the pen is slowly being rotated around. Uh, and we'll get to the nib in a moment, but this is what it looks like when that's being engraved as well. It's taped down to a larger piece of circular metal so it can be rotated. Now, I mentioned I had three pens, and this is the third pen, which I purchased. I thought it would be neat if I had a pen engraved with my logo rather than those skulls. That's one of the great things about working with an individual artisan like Ruth. They're typically willing to try out just about anything. Uh, here's a look at a catnib that she just showed off, which looks great. Uh, but this here was the first attempt at the logo pen, and while it was nice, uh, it kind of looked like, like a bit like a bowl of alphabet soup. Uh, then Ruth actually suggested that we incorporate both the skulls and the logo, which was a very good idea. And this was the end result. Uh, this particular pocket fox has the rainbow PVD coating. Uh, and the nib is rainbow as well. It's a little tough to see, but the skulls on the nib have my logo as well. You know, I think it turned out really great. Okay, let's get back to the pocket fox, which you could actually win. And we're going to take a look at the parts and features of this pen. The top of the cap is flat. This is a clipless pen. Uh, the cap and barrel are straight, and the transitions between the cap and section, and then the section and barrel, are fairly smooth. 
Then at the back of the barrel, there are some posting threads and the very end is flat. I, now, I did notice that there was a bit of a nubbin here on the end, which protrudes out a bit more than I would prefer. The cap twists off with just over four rotations, which sounds like a bit much, but in using this pen, it really didn't feel like it was that many rotations, and I was a bit surprised when I actually counted them. Uh, once you have removed the cap, you have this very nice number six stainless steel Bach nib. Again, with the creepy little skull engraving. I like that on this nib, it's not PVD coated and the black on the gold really makes the skulls pop. Uh, this nib is available in either fine or medium. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section is straight. It begins with the capping threads, uh, but I find the nib and threads to not be so far up that my grip naturally wants to slip over the edge. Uh, it pretty much stays where it should. Uh, while this section is metal, I don't find it to be slick. There are very minute grooves around the section uh, and barrel that you really can't even feel when you rub the pen. It pretty much feels smooth, but I find that just that little bit of almost unnoticeable texture um, helps me maintain my grip on this straight metal section. Now, if I'm going to write a quick note, this pen is long enough to use unposted. The posting threads are a little sharp, so they occasionally rub the wrong way against the inside of my hand, but it's not too bad. If you're going to be writing anything other than a quick note, you'll want to post the cap. Now, again, it takes four rotations in order to post the pen. For some reason, to me, the same number of rotations doesn't bug me that much when removing the cap, but it seems a bit excessive in the posting, so I might have preferred to have the posting threads a bit shorter. But in the grand scheme of things, that is a very minor nit to pick. Uh, while posted, this pen is essentially full-sized, and I find it to be very comfortable in the hand as well as uh, well-balanced. Um, it does have some weight to it. It comes in at over 50 grams, and so for a small pen, it does have some heft. Uh, the barrel does twist off, and you can see this pen accommodates standard international short cartridges, which is fine. Uh, converters, which can be used in pocket pens like these, have historically been mediocre. Uh, the Shibui North Pocket Fox is available on the Shibui North website. I'll put a link to it in the notes below. Um, I recommend checking it out if you'd like to see some very cool and unique offerings. Uh, this particular pen retails for $137, which I feel is very reasonable for what you receive here. Um, I like the size and the weight, and I absolutely adore the cute skull design. They're called creepy little skulls, but I think they're more happy little skulls. Okay, in regard to the giveaway, if you would care to win this purple model, then you just need to do a couple of things. You need to be a subscriber to this channel, and then simply click on the link in the notes below this video. It'll take you to a Google form where you enter your name, email address, as well as an optional question. Uh, the question I have for you is, uh, you know, you've seen how Ruth can engrave just about anything onto a pen and nib. And if you were to have a custom pen made, what would you want to have engraved on it? And keep in mind that if it's reasonable, then Ruth would probably do it for you. And her prices are, are reasonable for a custom piece of one-of-a-kind art. So you could very easily make your own idea a reality. 72 hours after the posting of this video, I will randomly select one winner and email you at the address you provided. Good luck to everyone, and thanks to Ruth for providing this pen to give away. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Okay, here we have the size comparisons for the Shibui North Pocket Fox. To begin with, I wanted to show you the other model. This is the Kasune model, and I just really love those skulls. I just think the, the way they pop is just amazing. Uh, and this is a really nice model as well. Uh, and it has those skulls, as you can see here, on the nib, which are cool. Uh, and so, this one is the larger pen. It's a cartridge converter pen. Uh, and then we had the Pocket Fox, which is the one that we've given away. 
Uh, and again, just to show you, it has that same skull motif on the nib, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then this is my fake boot model that she made. Uh, and it's a little hard to see here. The rainbow, it doesn't really stand out, but you can see over the uh, over the eye, on the over the, uh, the some left eyes, some right eyes. There you go. That's a good shot of it. You can see that uh, there is the logo there, uh, and then again, it's on the rainbow nib. It's really hard to see the uh, logo on there, but it's there. Uh, but this is what it looks like compared to the other two. Uh, and then this was the model that I had previously reviewed, which is another one of the Shibui models. Uh, and the engraving on there is just really nice. Uh, the, that she does some really nice work. Uh, and then in regard to another pin, this is what it looks like with the Caveco Skyline Sport. In regard to some other smaller pocket pens, this is what it looks like with the Shone Design Pocket 6. Uh, this is with the Enso Minimalista. Uh, and then here it is with a Twisby Mini. And then finally here it is with the Caveco Lilliput. In regard to uncapped comparisons, I think it's best to look at this uh, when it's posted, since a lot of times that's how you're going to be using it. Uh, this is what it looks like with the Caveco Sport. And here it is with the Caveco Lilliput. Uh, and then here it is with the Shone Design Pocket 6. Okay, here we go with the writing sample for the Shibui. North. Pocket Fox. This is a medium stainless steel nib. Uh, and I, it was just the cartridge that came with the pen. So I don't know exactly what this, uh, uh, what this ink is, but we will just say it is a generic purple. In regard to the rest of the writing sample, Had a little bit of a skip there. Um, you know, while I prefer Yovo nibs over Bach, this one performs nicely. It's fairly smooth. You can get some line variation out of here if you push it a bit. It railroaded there at the end, uh, which now caused it have to let it keep up there. Uh, in regard to ink flow, I'd say this one is a little bit on the lighter side. It's not necessarily a gusher. In regard to reverse writing, it's a little hit and miss. Uh, it's not super sharp, it's just a little crisp. In regard to fast writing, a little bit of a skip there. With this one, I think you have to take your time a little bit more that uh, it's not necessarily uh, uh, at least meant for super fast writing. So there we have the Shibui North Pocket Fox. Let's go ahead and get the rest of them up here. We have my fig boot model, and then there is the uh, Kitsune, which is a different model, but it just has those cool skulls. And then I'll even throw uh, the other Kitsune on there as well. Uh, I think that, uh, that Ruth is doing some really cool things. Like I said, I recommend you following her on Instagram and checking out her site and do what you need to do in order to potentially win uh, this one right here. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.